today's video is thanks to Slick Pimping. Thanks for your support and input to the community. Welcome back guys. Today we will be installing car mods to GTA 5. It's quite easy, but also it depends if we are installing the car as an add-on, or a replacement. Firstly, you will need OpenIV, otherwise called Open4. Go to your web browser and search GTA 5 OpenIV, if you don't already have it installed. Once you have installed OpenIV, open it. Click on Grand Theft Auto 5, Windows. Then click on this little icon that says, ASI Manager. Be sure to install these three items, mine says uninstall because I already have them installed. Once you're done with that, it's time to install a car mod. For this tutorial, I'm going to download this 2002 Camaro. It has two installation methods. These methods are, add-on, and replace. Notice we have two folders, one that says add-on, and the other says replace. The replace folder has the files for the car, the YFT, and YTD files, and they are named after the car which they will replace in the game. The add-on folder has another folder inside with the car's name, if you open it you will find another file that says DLC. Now let's get started. Now extract the contents of the zip or RAR folder to a convenient location. I will show you how to install with both methods. Let's do the replace method first. Start OpenIV. Open the replace folder. Take note of the name for the car to be replaced. Installation instructions and install locations can be found in some of the readme text files. Like the one shown here. However, there is a problem, the game continually gets updates, which means that the installation location may change, or be overwritten. To bypass this problem, rather than search for the car's location, we can just search for the car itself. Be sure to spell it correctly. To make the search faster, at the end of the car name, put .yft. Now there's another issue, if you look closely, there are four different locations for the car, to get around this, we can either replace the model with the first location on the list, or replace them all. The README says, patch day 2 NG, but there is 19 NG that came after, which would indicate that it's the latest update, but we can never be too sure. As I said before, we can either open the top search result and replace those files, or, open and replace the files in each locations. Enable, Edit Mode, first of all. Once you open the original file location, just drag and drop your replacement files. Remember, just to be safe, you can replace the files in all locations. And you're done. Let me point out, I do not recommend replacing your original GTA cars which is why I won't go any further on with the replacement fixes. If you have downloaded a car that only has a replace file, don't worry, I have made a video showing you how to convert it into an add-on, just click the link at the top right corner now, or look in the video description. Now time for the add-on method. There's another readme with installation instructions. Please note the location for installing the car with this method. Go to Mods, Updates, X64, then DLC Packs, if you don't have those folders I've named, create them.
drag and drop the folder with the car name and the DLC file inside here. Go back to your GTA root location once more. We are going to the DLC list, XML file. It may be in your mods folder, but mine is in the updates folder. Follow me on screen to this location. You can also search for DLC list, and edit the top search result, or both. When you find the file, right click, and select edit. Scroll to the end and copy the last line with the word, item. Now copy the name from your add-on car folder. And paste it, as shown here. Save, and you're done. Now let's test to see if it worked. I'm going to use Simple Trainer to spawn the car. Now you have successfully added your car mod. As a bonus, let's show you how to change the handling line for any car. I don't recommend editing original car files. Now let's download the car handling for this Camaro. Here's a perfect match. This handling line was made for this mod, so we could just drag and drop it in the right spot. Notice it has the same name as the add-on car folder. Now use OpenIV and navigate back to where you install the add-on. Open the DLC file. Then go to data, and look for handling.meta. Be sure to enable edit mode. Right click the file, then select edit. Now open the handling file that you want to use as the replacement. Now copy from fmas, to the last sub handling line. and paste same in the same position in OpenIV. Save and you're finished. Remember, seeing as this handling file was made for this specific car, we could just drag and drop the entire file. That's it for this video guys, remember to like and subscribe, it helps me to make more of these videos.